everyone. Today I'll be doing a review and demo of Juvia's Place palette, which I got inside, um, it's the Nubian, inside my Allure box for the month of May. And I will be creating the look that I have on now. Um, I'm actually kind of obsessed. So if you want to stick around and figure out what I used, where I put it, and how I like the palette. But before we get started, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for all my latest videos. All right, stick around. So I'm using this brush and I'm applying one of my favorite concealers. But you can use any one of your choice. And no, I don't have any face uh, makeup on. It looks like it's a color, but when it goes blended in, when it goes blended in, when I blend it in, um, it just goes clear or the same color as my skin. So I did swatch some of the colors on my hand. Super pigmented, it's wonderful, so luxurious and creamy. But I'm gonna actually wipe them off. Nah. I swatch everything. I have a swatching problem. If you know me and you see me, you know, working, I swatch it and then I end up with it on my butt. So I try to be more cognizant. I'm going to start with um, this color in my crease with a blending brush. Today I'm gonna start in the crease area with this pigment um, that has more of an orange under you. Same thing for the side. I just finished with that color. Now I'm going to use this color. Overlapping and upward. I'm gonna start from the inside and I like my brush to hold it downward. And you should always hold your brush further from the tip so you are not um, up over applying pressure. This is so creamy and beautiful. I'm loving it. I'm so excited. I'm actually pulling this one right into the crease. All right, can you see? I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. this color. I'm gonna grab a different brush, the same one, but different. I'm gonna start here. I'm 
overlapping just a snidge to blend. You never want it to directly blend dead center. I mean, unless that's the look you're going for. But I like it to look more fluid. Now I'm also gonna go on top of my crease from there outward. I build the pigmentation. Same thing for the other side. I went a little too, my hand jumped. Okay, I just wiped my brush off and I'm just gonna take what's there and blend it. Wipe it off and blend it. Okay. I'm gonna blend it upward. So I feel like that made the biggest difference. You want to be able to see the color. So you want to always pull it to the crease. Because then you just end up with color on your lid. That's no fun. <laughs> okay. I'm going to enhance with the original eye color, the first eyeshadow color. Just a smidge. They're very similar though, very similar. This one just has more of a burnt hue. I'm using a tighter brush. This color, I'm going in the crease. I don't know. I like it. I don't love it. Um, I don't feel so for this actually looking at it with your eye is the darkest color has hardly zero pigment. I don't know if the other three matte, I'm sorry, the other two matte colors, because I use them in my crease, they didn't need that much pigment. But This is not a true brown. It's like I'll just, just so you can see it. It doesn't look like. So I'm gonna go ahead, match this eye and come in with a darker brown that's not in this palette. I grabbed a black brown color to enhance my corner crease with. Um, I'm using the Anastasia palette, the sultry palette to do so. Um, it is dystopian, however you choose to pronounce it. You can start with the brown if you choose, the one that we used originally from Juvius's place, and then build on top of that. Oh. So the color is with the shimmer are intense and I freaking love them. I clean up my face and then I'm going to apply my face makeup 
and do my brows. And then I'll be back to show you what it looks like. I'm back and I've put the rest of my face foundation on, eyeliner, some mascara, mascara, <laughs> mascara. I use the Mile High Club <clears throat> from the Allure Beauty Box in May. Again, not my favorite. Um, I do want to give it a fair chance, but it's still not my favorite. It's great for somebody who has full lashes and wants to define every single one. I need a thicker consistency. It does give them volume and length, and that is by Wonder Beauty. Back to my eyes and the Juvia's Mini. I did actually really like the pigments. Overall, the darker color was not dark enough or pigmented enough for the look. Um, so I had to swap or, you know, put in another one. Other than that, everything else I loved. Um, don't get me wrong, you can definitely use it and some people would like that, but I just feel like I need a little extra. It was not too much darker than my, you know, foundation. Once it was blended, obviously the stripe on my face is going to look super potent. But I'm loving it.